let's start off with uh, demutualization before we get into some of the returns that the NEC could be achieving in 2011. Uh, we know that uh, in March uh, last year, uh, the, the members approved demutualization and also just keeping in mind that most African stock exchanges operate as mutual companies. Tell us about uh, the negotiations thus far and how much traction you've gained in this. Oh well, thanks Eleni. We've made uh, a lot of progress towards demutualization. Uh, we had been awaiting certain changes to the law. Um, those proposed amendments to our Capital Markets Act have now taken effect uh, since the finance bill was uh, given presidential assent uh, last month. Uh, so we are now uh, really in the very last leg uh, of this journey. We expect that uh, within Q1 of this year we will be able to conclude the process of demutualization as had been agreed by our shareholders, our, our members and, and other stakeholders. Well, let's just look at some of the benefits of the demutualization process. It can improve the competitors, uh, competitiveness of uh, the uh, African stock exchanges and perhaps all stock exchanges on a global level. Um, it also can reduce uh, government uh, governance prob problems uh, also. Uh, looking at some of the challenges, high costs associated with an exchange IPO, uh, incomplete market liberalization, what is your view on some of the negatives that could come to the fore when it comes to demutualization? Well, I, I think there's a very strong uh, strategic case for demutualization for our exchange. And I think demutualization, in fact, will go a long way towards addressing some of the problems um, that this market has been confronting as it grows and develops. Uh, I certainly expect that a demutualized exchange will be better placed um, from a strategic point of view to innovate uh, and invest in our business and to grow our listing and trading um, mm. business. It, it, Please continue. it is very, it is also useful to, to the exchange. When we are demutualized, we will be better able to provide oversight uh, mm. of market players. And so the governance that you mentioned uh, should be addressed, uh, should be really, really enhanced by this demutualization. Uh, let's touch on uh, the Capital Markets Authority as well and the fact that we've seen uh, renewed structures coming in when it comes to uh, the likes of uh, capital requirements for investment banks and also for stockbrokers. And uh, there's been a lot of talk about this and whether it is the right thing to do in such a short space of time. How do you expect this to perhaps uh, affect liquidity, if at all, when it comes to the NSC? Well, um, it is obviously in the interests of the market uh, to have strong, well-capitalized intermediaries. Uh, so there's no doubt about the principle of it. I think the discussion has centered around the quantum of the increase and the timing of that increase. But our members are dealing with that issue in, uh, as required by law. And I think liquidity, as all these measures towards improving um, the strength of the financial players take effect, liquidity is also increasing, which is, mm. which is good for investors and good for issuers as well. Mm. Uh, Mr. Mwangi, there's also fantastic news on the small to medium size uh, front as well when it comes to companies and their inclusion on the Nairobi Stock Exchange as well. What way, headway have you made uh, thus far? We know that you are currently uh, busy with uh, an extensive survey to see uh, which of those companies can join in on the markets front. Yes, we have been um, engaging with the market and especially the, the middle market uh, companies uh, in this economy. And there's a lot of appetite, I think, for the solution such as the one we have proposed, um, a market for small to medium sized enterprises. We are now in the process of developing the legal and regulatory framework and looking at the appropriate incentives to offer these companies. Uh, and we expect that suddenly by the end of Q2, we will have um, a concrete offering to bring to market. Mm. And you're looking at companies uh, in the range of between 70 million shillings and 1 billion uh, shillings is what we're hearing. Yes, absolutely. Mm. Uh, those figures are really the sort of yeah. cut-off points for, for the SME uh, competition that is run here by yeah. um, KPMG and Business Daily. And so a lot of the companies that have participated in that top 100 uh, mid-sized companies 
survey are the ones we are targeting with our SME offering. Uh, Mr Mwangi, we're almost out of time. Very quickly, what kind of returns are you expecting for the NAC going into 2011? And also just a quick update on whether you think we could see a regional boss anytime soon. Well, I think the momentum coming out of last year will be sustained uh, going into this year. Uh, economic growth should continue to accelerate. Uh, there are some downside risks related to the weather and so on, but yeah. I think overall it's a very positive outlook. Um, once we are demutualized, we should then be able to engage with our sister exchanges in the region towards closer integration. Yeah. But there are already plans underway for us to work out the very best way to achieve Fantastic. that integration uh, for regional bosses. Fantastic. Mr Mwangi, thank you so much. We've run out of time. Thank you for being on the program with us today. That was Peter Mwangi, the CEO of the Nairobi Stock Exchange.